with x axis if the area lies above x axis means this is the important one this one is a above x axis means the, the limit formula that will be a to b integration of a to b y dx so here the same procedure the area of region bounded so y is equal to f of x between limits x equal to a and x equal to b with the x axis below the x axis This one is the condition. This one is the up. This one is the above x-axis. This one is the below x-axis. So above x-axis means you are just using this formula. If it is the same below x-axis, you are only using the this formula. Minus integrate of a to b y dx. What is the formula there? Minus integrate of a to b y dx. Next procedure, the area of region bounded. So x is equal to g of what is the condition here? X is equal to g of y. Y is equal to c and y is equal to b with y axis. What is the axis here? That will be y axis. With y axis, if area lies to right of the y axis. What is the condition here? Right of the y axis. Yeah, this one is the y axis. Right. Two y plus x is equal to a. I'm going to 
substitute x is equal to 0 means you are getting 2y equal to 8 here because x will be the 0 value then y is equal to 8 divided by 2 then y is equal to 2 value getting here uh, y is equal to that will be 4 here plotting the point 0 comma 4 first point getting here 0 comma 4 here you have apply this one 4 here so then next I am going to go on y is equal to 0 now I am going to substitute this one y is equal to 0 here then we are getting x is equal to 8 so what is the value we are getting point here 8 comma 0 understand 8 comma 0 here now we are going to draw that graph how to plot that this one is the y axis and this one is the x axis here so what is the value we are getting here we get 8 here so here 0 comma 8 is the first 0 comma 4 is the first point then 8 comma 0 now I am going to plot in the points here it will be in x axis it will be 0 in y axis it will be it will be positive then here I am going to apply this one this one is the 0 comma 4 point then what is value here 8 comma 0 in x axis somewhere here it will be 8 here 0 will be in the axis only then here we are going to apply this one 8 comma 0 so we are going to draw this line here joining the points here what is the question what is the line given here x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 4 so somewhere here I am going to put in this one 2 here itself this one is the this one is the shaded region this area only we are going to find this one is the extreme limit that will be x is equal to 2 here this side extreme limit that will be x is equal to 4 so what is the extreme that will be 2 here is the extra extreme that will be 4 this is the position for drawing the region then now we are going to find out the what is the question given in the x axis now we are going to find out this y value because x value we know question given here we are going to find out the y value how to find out the y value 2y plus x equal to 8 this and then here 2y equal to plus x it will be goes to the side it will change this into 8 minus x then y is equal to 8 minus x this multiplication of 2 will be goes to the side that will be plus 2 what is the value here 8 minus x divided by 2 that value only we are going to substitute and then here this is the y is equal to 8 minus x what is the point we are going to find out what is the area area of region we are going to find out the sum here let us see how to solve that sum which formula we are going to obtain it because it will be the graph will be it will be comes here it will be right side of the y axis then itself here it will be y means right side of the x axis will be plus value so now we are going to substitute the formula integrate of integrate of a to b y is equal to dx y dx so area equal to integrate of a to b y dx integrate of a to b y dx so what is the limit given to the question a value that will be 2 then 4 so now substitute 2 to 4 what is the y value 8 minus x divided by 2 into dx integrate of 2 to 4 limit will be given to the question 8 minus x 2 is the y value then dx will be substitute here now we are going
8 into 2 minus 2 the whole square divided by 2. Then we are going to solve here. One by two, then eight into four that is the thirty-two, then minus sixteen divided by two minus of here sixty-eight into sixteen, then four divided by two, and then one by two. This one is have to cancel here. Then we eight in thirty-two minus eight, then minus of here again of cancel. Minus two, then one by two, thirty-two minus three, twenty-four minus sixteen minus two, that will be fourteen. Then what is the remaining value here? Twenty-four minus fourteen, that value is going to be ten. So I am going to cancel this one. What is the remaining value? Five square units. What is the area of region here? That will be five square units. The unit will be very very important. Okay, if you are not write the unit, unit means you have to count. They are all of your answer. Then you have, they have got one marks or half marks. Okay, so unit will be very important. So what are the words I am giving here? Five square units. Let's see the second sum. So what is the question given for? Second one here. Find the area of region bounded. Find the area of area bounded by the line. Bounded by the line. Y minus two x minus four equal to zero. Y minus two x minus four equal to zero. Then y is equal to one. Y is equal to three. Y is equal to one. Y is equal to three. And the y axis. And the y axis. There is also also using the same procedure here. First, so what is the given way here? Here, same find finding the area of boundary region. Then here we are getting a y is equal to y axis. So limit will be that. So let's find the the y minus two y minus four equal to what is the line? Y minus 2x minus 4 equal to zero. So here is what we are finding the table here. First we are finding the table here. Now I am going to substitute x is equal to zero. Then y is equal to zero. Here we are going to substitute this one. So x is equal to be cancelled. Then y minus. Here I am going to substitute x is equal to zero means here we are getting y minus 4 equal to zero. Then y is equal to four. Zero comma four. Then here is the answer. So it is y equal to zero here. Y equal to substitute zero means here we have minus two x minus four equal to zero. Then minus two x equal to minus four equal to zero plus two. That means minus plus four divided by minus two here we have x is equal to minus two. X is equal to minus two value. Then what is the point here? Minus two comma zero. Minus two comma zero. Now plotting into the graph. What is the point here? Zero. Putting this one four. Then I am putting the y is equal to zero. Then I am getting minus two here. Now we are going to draw the graph. We are going to draw the graph here. So how to draw that? So this is the graph. Right? So this is the x. Then x dash y y dash what is the value given here that will be zero zero comma four so x axis is zero y axis is somewhere in between the four then here is the remaining zero comma four here then here 
9 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that will be 8 by 2 minus 12 plus 4 here then now I know we are cancelling this one 2 4s are here then minus 1 by 2 4 minus 12 plus 4 minus 1 by 2 here itself 4 minus 8 here minus 1 by 2 4 minus 8 here will be minus minus 4 to 2 cancel here minus into minus that will be plus the answer will be 2 square this answer here 2 square units so this is the answer for second one so let us we see the third question so what is the question given root x 
dx here. This constant value d goes outside from the integration 2 into 2 that will be 4 integrate of 0 to a. What is the remaining values here? Root a root x. This one is also a constant number. It will be goes outside 4 root a integrate of 0 to a. x power of root means you have to write like this 1 by 2 dx. Power will be 1 by 2 dx here. Then you are going to integrate that one. This one. 4 root a integrate this one. x power of 1 by 2 plus 1 divided by 1 by 2 plus 1. So what is the limit here? 0 to a then. 4 root a here itself x power of 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2. Then here a to 0 to a is a limit. Then reciprocate this one. Reciprocate the denominator here. Once I error and this, this 2 will be goes to side. 2 into 4 that will be 8 root a. Now we are going to subtract x power of 3 by 2, 3. Then what is the limit here? Now we are going to substitute in the limit. Upper limit minus lower limit here. 8 root a into a power of 3 by 2. a power of 3 by 2 divided by 3. 0 is not necessary because 0 divided by 3 that will be 0 is not whole. Then 8 to root a into what is the value here? 8. A power of 3 by 2 and d here. Here itself. 8. A power 1 by 2. Here a power 3 by 2. Then 3. Here itself we are going to cancel this one. So what is the value we are getting here? What is the power of a? That is. 1 by 2 power will be added here because 1 by 2, 3 by 2 that will be 4 by 2. Now we are going to cancel this one. What is the value here? That will be 2 here. Here we are going to substitute this one. 8 a square divided by 3 square is this. That will be the 8 square 8 a square divided by 3 square is this. Okay children. Today class is we completed 3 sums and now. This is 3.1. Next class, we see the remaining sums in this exercise. Thank you, children.